I have that sorted out. That's all. That's all I wanted. Um, what? Um, okay. All right, anything, all right. Hopefully. Oh, uh, this works out. <laughs> it, it already looks like it's not working. This is just, you know, the opening moment in the game. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. If it continues being a little bit choppy, then, uh... Oh my god, dude. Okay, this is working. This is working pretty well. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna have it. <laughs> so all the, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care. Oh no, 
I didn't. I thought I did. Oh well. Wow. I thought I had the Avalanche Risen mod installed, which would make like. Everything will go really good. And the battles are good. And the else is really good. And the remember the self too I saw that. Or if I if there's a you know another part of this. They're missing the last letter of their names, killing me. I don't care about it. All I care about it. It was a, it was a happy accident. And so I'm keeping it. And so now everyone misses the last letter of their name. Favorite game? It's really not. But Your favorite game? Boy, is it not. Love this game. I think. I think Discord causes me to like drop frames. Why? Because the moment you dro you join the call, I drop frames. You're telling me? If I do. If I do, and this, he do the goddamn time <laughs> all day long. <laughs> so did did that do a thing? I did nothing. I was wrong. I hope it did. I hope it did all, all the damage. It, it, it did. I'm, I'm assuming it's because I'm attempting a 60 FPS stream, which uh, this game can now run at. So it does look unnaturally smooth. That's because. Okay, so this game. The only reason why I'm playing this game right now is because I've modded it. <laughs> it's the only reason. Um, I know, I missed the Popeye look. Okay, so, one story. I meant to do what I did last time and rename them after Popeye characters. But what happened was 
I tried to rename Cloud into Popeye, deleted the D, and then for some reason, the cursor went down to confirm, and so his la his name became Cloud. That's a huge fuck up. I don't feel like restarting the game, even though I'm like only like 10 minutes into it. So now, all the characters are just not going to have the last letter of their name. So Baird is now Bear. Two R's. <laughs> Bear. Two R's. Yeah. Like a child trying to spell for a time. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what's happening now. But yeah, this game is naturally smooth because uh, I'm using the 60 FPS mod. And growth. Kind of. But I have like a bunch of other mods installed. Too, so. Growth game looks the game looks better and sounds better I like the mini music I think it's might still be the MIDI music I don't I don't know for sure MIDI music is the best music according to the dude who made uh, that thing yeah, yeah I agree that game I hate, I think it's shit, but everyone loves it for some reason. That Dragon Quest. I don't know. First of all, Dragon Quest is fucking great. Dragon Quest is shit. It's a shut shit your, game. Shut your horn, Everyone just got brainwashed. Wow. Oh my god, I love. Grinding all day, every day. That's how I love playing games. Which, so, to be fair, it's a problem in a lot of the games. <laughs> However, oh, um, you want to you want to continue five minutes of the game? Ten hours of grinding. To be fair, Dragon Quest Eleven gets rid of that. I told you, I don't believe it. Okay, well, when I, when I have a computer that can run the game and enable me to stream at the same time, uh, I'll play it. Which, now that I have a job, uh, that might be sometime in the next decade. You have a job? Oh, yeah, you're fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking just to, just to die or starve to death. Tip to death. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You figured it out. I had to, I had to like look at the tab. You gotta have it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is called again. I have no clue what the volume's like, so I assume you're booming loud. Oh, uh, fuck it. What? Most likely. And I... Nah, the game's pretty loud. Okay, the game is loud? Yeah. Okay. Uh... Ooh, I can see all your tabs! Ooh, yeah, there's a lot more! So, because this game, for some fucking reason, um, won't register, um, oh, it's right there. Won't register, um, as game capture or window capture, I had to plug in the TV and do a screen capture, which annoys me. Yeah. Go to me, loser. Well, whatever. Just there. Now it's a bunch quieter. God, I can hear my beautiful voice. It's a shame. 
I've also noticed an issue I have with this. Um, some of the animations happen much faster. No, the result of the anim the animations delay. Okay. And I don't know why, and I have no clue how to fix it. I give her the mod. I feel like that is the, the the solution, but oh well. I mean, pork chops. <laughs> That's nice. Oh my god! Why is my nose so itchy all of a sudden? Well, uh, you, you gotta stop doing that cocaine, man. I. You know what? No. I won't. You can't, you can't help yourself. Every day with you, you're just like... Ugh. I got one nostril open at any time. And, uh, oh. just... and that's filled with cocaine. Oh. Oh. Yeah, obviously. Never... Once you got a girlfriend, you're just like, gotta live like a king now! <laughs> I mean, why not, you know? Then Nancy can tell me, like, you can snort cocaine off of her back. Okay, she's not a prostitute, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my version of making it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just always congested. No, you can fix it? Fucking cocaine, man! I don't. I mean, I don't... I don't know. But at the same time, I've never, like, tried, so... I know. How do you know... How do you know... How do you know you don't like it? You never tried it. I just, you know, like... It's a good question. And what my mom taught, what, what my mom taught me, I'm gonna teach my kid that. You don't know until you try. Yeah. Would you say you don't knows until you try? Ah, ah, get it, get it. <gasps> okay. Oh. I guess everyone's a critic. I don't know. Ah. Nope. Wrong No, I got have been stuck in the 90s lately. Uh, okay. I would, I would be like, do I want to buy Rotoblades? <laughs> it's not just an exclusively 90s thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> If you wanted one of those i those those iPods with like the the, the trackpad, then yeah, you know, that. Wait, yeah. hold on, wait, what trackpad? Like you know those like uh, you know how like the really early iPods, like they were yeah. like they had the circles in them and like you would like. Oh, you know, damn! I didn't know they're called trackpads. Those are those are trackpads. I thought laptop had trackpads. That's yeah, it. Same thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. I still have one in my room. Not to work, but I can, I can just like, it's like I can wear, wear like super like highlight clothing colors. God. Get get uh. Remember, I, you remember, remember those commercials? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember those commercials. That was like oh. early two thousand commercials. Oh, that was a nineties commercial. That was, that was, that was an early two thousand commercial. Oh. The only one I remember was fucking, um, uh, Feeling Good Ink. It's the only one I remember. I don't remember the music, I just didn't remember those obnoxious commercials. 
the entire screen would be like one color. Oh yeah, I get, I love that. I I call it the fucking the the Kill Bill cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, I iPod did it. Um, I know um, Samurai Champoo game did it for some reason. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I thought it. Yeah, I thought they were obnoxious. I got I was a teenager. It's definitely obnoxious now. I want to watch them now. Have fun. Uh, what do you, oh, um, iPod commercial. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Clash of Rock, yo. Fucking, um, I, I can't remember what the song called. I don't know what you're talking about. So. Uh, I'm watching the, the iPod commercial. Ugh. Hey, the player saw that. I can't remember the name of, but I know what it is. Okay. My Spotify. I don't have a lot of Spotify. Keep fat, now you don't run too fast. You're more fashion than you. I think that would went. So, I'm glad that I can do skip the dishes. Why? Because it means that one, I never have to talk to my fucking boss. Because as me, technically. And I will never have to meet any of my coworkers. Because I, I can just assume they're all fucking morons. And, I, and I'm neither right nor wrong. Because I'll never know. You said a hateful man. No, I'm not hateful. Very hateful. Be ashamed of yourself. No, I'm not. Full of hate. No. What's the song yeah. called? What? I don't know. Look up the lyrics. Just like. Look up what you heard and then put it in quotation marks in Google. No. Or don't. Fine. Uh, uh. Walkie talkie man, that's what it's called. I figured it out. Look at look at how look at how good he looks. He looks like he looked like a dra <laughs> uh Dragon King character Dragon King Dragon Quest character oh, look how good he looks our little weird you look like a sand it's the hair at some point although it's no it's not, no point in the near future I want to get the uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake only and exclusively because there's a mod that makes Cloud bald. Well, that just mean. What is the hair? It's half a man. But hey, you know, is there a mod to make um, Barrett have a full afro? I wouldn't doubt it. With like jiggle physics, it would be amazing. Ah! It'd be amazing. But uh, but yeah, like uh, but yeah, one of the one of the things I want to get um, is a PC. Now that I'm uh, now working and can you, you know you make people angry, you, you get deactivated. <laughs> Why would I make people angry? I don't know. 
Here's your fucking food. God. <laughs> Not that bad. I'll be polite because it might like tip me more. Thank you for using your shitty app. <laughs> Don't choke, and then I walk away. <laughs> they they get Madonna. You're just like, why? You go fat ass. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that. Is the the point I'm trying to make? That's I order a sa salad. <laughs> Is all of this for you? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, is this for your family or for yourself? I thought this would be a really efficient way to lose that job. This, this is why. This is why I do want my Mario Sailor because people think I'm like the coolest, coolest man there. Uh, I don't care about how cool I look. Um, I'll be nice to people as long as I get paid. So. You gotta look out for those people in, um, condos. Why? You gotta ever, you gotta ever, their only joy in life, it's like, they treat you like, they, they act superior towards you. That's people with money in general. I know, but they're just like... They're just like... I don't know what they are. H they, human, is, is human filth a good answer? It, it, they're like... They're... At a condo, at the front desk, doing... Something. What are they even called? Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's security. I don't think security is the right word for it. Yeah. Staff, maybe? Why did we staff at a condo? I guess because, like, you know, there's, like, pools. There's, like, different facilities and stuff. And you're paying for maintenance, so someone should be maintaining stuff. You, you pay, don't you pay for maintenance at a, an apartment? No. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. Because there's a difference. Um, for the condo, you're owning the condo, um, but you're paying for the maintenance of the building. So, let's say someone pays off the condo, they would still be paying maintenance fees. Because it's their property. But because it's in the building, yeah, they have to maintain the building. Oh, this is kind of stupid to me. Although I kind of, although I'm sure there's a simple answer to this, but I always wondered, what if you just don't pay the maintenance fees? Are you just like yeah, that's allowed, I would. Are you just that's not what I wonder to too. The, are you just like not allowed to use the facilities at that point? And I don't. Are you, are you like you have no. If you have no desire to use the gym, or the gym or the pool. Why are you paying for it? I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Making sense to me. Oh, also, when I did it downtown, and one of them was in a condo, and I was, I was finding the elevator, and the front desk got real mad at me, <laughs> and he said like. You must go to the front desk every single time. I was just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> like you, you telling me? Well, like, why haven't I lived there? You telling me I had to go to the front desk to say I exist? Well, what would, what would like I lived there? Or my job, my main job, was to do Uber Eats. And I just will happen to be delivering someone at that at that same place. You telling me I still have to go through the front desk? 
I think uh, I think they're just their attempt at abusing their power. Yeah, the, the power that doesn't actually exist. No, like <laughs> I can tell them just like it's off and just to like, go up to the joint. Okay, they have no idea I lived there or not. Right. The one time that makes sense to me was uh. During like the peak of the pandemic, um, I wasn't allowed to go up there for some reason, so they had to call them down to come up, come meet me. I was just like, cool, that's less work for me. Yeah, it seems really weird. And they were like right next to the door. So I don't look with some condos. You can't get in the front door unless you talk to, like, um, the security? Question mark? I don't know if it's actually security. I think for sake of argument, it might be easier just to call them security. I don't know. I want to call them security. Call them... Um... Lackeys. Lackeys. <laughs> Lackeys. Lackeys. Lackeys of the building. <laughs> this is why that. God, this is why I, I can't. I don't think I can handle condos. I think living there would be one thing. Because, like. I think. <laughs> they'd shut the fuck up if you live there. But it, I had to go to them every time. So um, it, it could be, it could be like, it could be like when I worked at um, um, Canadian Tires. The the more I interact with them, the more hateful my speech is gonna be. <laughs> like, I live here, dude. Fuck off. <laughs> See, for me, if it was becoming an issue. I would talk really slowly to them and be really patronizing. And super, I'll, I'll hit, super condescending. I'll I'll hit that level, but it will eventually grow to the point where uh, it could be like, hope you die. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the next could, day, I hope, <laughs> hope your family burns. People could conflate that as a death threat. So I wouldn't go that far. Don't don't talk to me then. Cause I'd be like I'd just be like, Hi, I live here. Me go home now. <laughs> I live on fifth floor. <laughs> Number one. Oh Yeah. Seven. <laughs> Let me write that out for you. I assure my name, you can read. <laughs> my name is Al. <laughs> Everybody's uh, I, super condescending. To the point where they would not want to talk to me. <laughs> the downside to that is if you actually need help, you're, you're dead. <laughs> you're, you're just dead. Just, just pray you never need help from them. Why would I need, ever need help from them? I don't know. You, you can never plan for an emergency. I mean, you can, but you can never predict an emergency. Did after Abby told me that um some random dude did unlock the door, and went right through. I was just like, I can't do it. Can't do condos. Oh, I would. Oh, for me. I always have the door locked with the chain. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Silent Hill 4 method? I, no, I wouldn't have... Okay, I wouldn't fucking bolt the door shut. But I would yeah, definitely chain. like... Didn't bolt it. No, okay, I don't mean like that extent. Because like you can have like the deadbolt and you can have a chain lock. Yeah. I would have both. Like we have both of the door now. I, I think I'll have it too. 
Just a little bit in any apartment. Because I feel like, I feel, I'd be like, I'd be like, look, either get out now or I call the cops. Because you're not supposed to be in here. Like, if that happened once, there would be a fight right away. I would, I would fight them. If it happened more than once, I'd fight them. No, it happened once because no one should be coming into my house. Well, no one should be. Well, no one should be. Unless I. No one should be unlocking the door and setting foot in my house. Well, there's a root. Okay. So. To be fair, there are situations in which. Well, I don't know if. I don't know if, like, the. I guess property manager would be the rich person version of a landlord. I wouldn't know. As I am not a rich person. Um, there are certain situations where they're uh, they're allowed to go in. So, like, if they think you're in danger, or like it's like a police thing, they're allowed to like unlock your door and let people in. They can't just uh, do it for the lulls. They can't do that. That's yeah. actually not allowed. No, they can't go in randomly. They're allowed. To no, they, 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 they can't. Like, you own that spot. Therefore, it's your house. The uh, primary matter have no say who can. They have no say of just coming into your house. Oh, they definitely do. No, they don't. That's illegal. It's not illegal. Yeah, it is. If they have. Okay. If they have a key and they're the property manager and they think that you're in danger or someone in that place is in danger, they're well within their rights. I don't think that's true. Completely true. Otherwise, the only reason or the only way they can gain access to that place is one, if they give you 24 hour notice or you give them permission at the door. Other than that, it has to be an emergency or there has to be police involved. Otherwise, they can't. What? So like you say, like the police can go to the property manager, like we need to check out this house. This room number, and they were just allowed to do no, it. They can't. No, it's a little bit more nuanced than that. <laughs> like the police have to have like a warrant. Obviously, they can't just be like, "Hey, we want to hang out at Lincoln's place for the evening." You let it in. Like obviously, there has to be a reason for it. They can't just be like, "Okay, we're going in," because because if they don't have a warrant, yes, extremely legal. But if they do. Yeah, they they want to search, and they went through the legal process of being legally allowed to search. So at that, well, that point, they that's have to a, let them in. that's a warrant, right? A part, like a part of, like without that, they were not allowed to come in unless it's an emergency. What was uh, what what your version of an emergency? If they think it's a matter of life and death. And how would they know that? Well, for example, let's say you haven't left your, your condo in several weeks. Uh-huh. That could be interpreted as a matter of life and death. Because at that point, like, for example, they can knock on the door. And if you answer it, they're probably not going to open. They're probably not going to open the door. But if they knock and there's no answer, like, at all, then they're probably going to go in. That not legal. It's extremely legal. It was not. It is. Why would you work at home and just never leave the house? You telling me that every two weeks, someone gonna some random person gonna knock on the door and you're like asleep? They're just gonna usually, walk right in. Usually, they check on you if nobody has seen you. So, like, if your neighbors haven't seen you, or if there's family members who have called the building saying they can't get a hold of you, there has to be like a really good reason for why they're doing it. Well, you, they can't you, just be like, they can't just be like, you know what? That Lincoln dude's kind of a prick. I want to annoy him today. That's not a good reason. But you, you make it, like, I'm talking about like, like you're no one, no one made a call. No one made a, a concern. You're you just disappear for two weeks straight. It has to be, has to be, 
There has to be a reasonable amount of belief that it's a life and death situation. So, for example, they're probably going to ask your neighbors first. Because a pretty good sign that maybe you're not okay is if your neighbors haven't seen you or they haven't heard anything come from your, from your, your condo. Because usually, I know with, with, with us in the, in the building, if you're in the hallway, you can, as you're walking by the doors, you can hear stuff come from the other apartments. So if no one's heard anything, they're probably going to be like, okay, something's going on. They'll probably call you, and if no one answers, they'll probably knock on your door, and if no one answers, there's a pretty good chance they'll call the police before they open the door. You're making, a solid, you're making a solid case for me to never get a condo. That's your choice. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like doomed to happen. I'm just saying there are reasons why why it's legal or there's situations <laughs> I shouldn't say reasons why I should there's situations where it's legal like, the, the, only thing, the only thing the only thing the thing you're describing it's like at an old age home no no because one of my aunts literally had that system it's there's like a car you put over the out, out on the handle and if that's not removed, they they will come in to make sure you're okay. Okay, that's a different system. <laughs> but like years ago, like they they, they could like just say it with an emergency. No, they can't. Whatever no, it is. No, no, no. They can't. They can't do that. Well, what? But it, it's to be. A, he's there in. has to be a reason. They can't just be like. I have would I would concerned. It's like I haven't like, seen it in one or two weeks. That's all you need to say. There, and all of a sudden it no, becomes legal. There has to be more than that. There has to be more than that. There has to be I haven't seen them in a few because like because like in all like 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 reasonably, what are the odds that like a landlord or property manager in a building has seen every single tenant tenant within the span of a month? Like the odds are pretty, like pretty slim. They've seen every single person, unless they unless they deal with them personally for like, like I don't know, like a check. But even then, people do direct deposit. So there's there has to be a pretty good reason. Like if neighbors complain, like if neighbors are like, hey, there's a weird smell coming from that condo, or like we haven't heard anything come out of that condo, we haven't seen them in a few weeks. There has to be. A series of really good reasons for why they're going to be like, okay, we have to unlock that door, and the police need to be involved. Otherwise, yeah, illegal. But beyond that, they can't just randomly open up your door. For that, yeah, you're but right. that, pretty illegal. <laughs> but you can do that for a house, then. Yeah, you can. Police do that all the time. If there is a reason to believe it's a life or death situation, police don't need a warrant. Yeah, I know that. Well, I'm talking about what every place they got. They unlock the door just to make like to check on the fucking fire alarm. Okay, if it's like just to check the fire alarm, no, that's not that's not a good enough reason. Like if that, and there's no blazing about that. Like who else are they gonna come in for? Maybe they're gonna come in like when I'm out to check on things. No, and I don't have no idea. No, they have to give you a warning. They did give it a warning. Okay, well, that's illegal. That's illegal. What I'm saying is there has to be a pretty good reason for them to go in. They can't just go in because they want to. That that's a, that that's why hey, like there would be a fight. Like if they, if I see anyone come in, like there would be a fight. Okay, whenever I hear fight, I imagine, like, fisticuffs. <laughs> yeah, it would be like, get the fuck out of my house! Okay, okay, that's, okay, that's, like, a normal, okay. For some reason, I just imagine, like, you just, like, you're like, I guess, I, I guess, I guess I beat you up today. Yeah, it's like, you, you don't leave, there could be a, like, your face will be at my, your face will be punched unless you leave right now. Like, I don't, I think, for that, I think, Usually, response has to be reasonable to like what you're responding to. <laughs> there, there's no reason for you to be in my house. 
Like, I don't want to, like... I don't want to, like, announce myself every time to make sure you don't come in at random. <laughs> that's Yeah, that's why I would chain the door, too. Just in case. Because I have issues, just generally. Like, I would... I would do it for an apartment building. I don't want. I don't want some. I don't want some ran, rando just like. Huh. I didn't see this guy in a week. So, I'm just gonna unlock the door. So, unfortunately, that's more common than you think. And sometimes that happens because there's other people in the building, who for whatever reason just don't realize that landlords are not allowed to do that. So landlords have become accustomed to just kind of like bending the rules like that. Yeah, that's why it'd be like. That's why I'll make sure like that's never gonna happen again. That's why you put mouse traps in front of the door. Like, if we like a lot of screaming and yelling, and it don't mean leave, and they don't leave immediately, shit will be thrown at them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's, that makes sense. Yeah. Like they they have no reason to be there. If there's like no reason to be there, then. They shouldn't be there. Like, I, I remember, like, a long time ago when I, when I had Ferris house, I would, like, I would, like, by myself for a bit, and some rando just went through the door, and just, like, I need to check the, like, the fucking, with, like, the, the fire alarm or something else, and he, he would give me attitude about it. But <laughs> you... Cause okay, I'd be like, did you give like, like if there's like notice, then yeah, they're allowed. But I was like confused. I'm like, who is this guy? And he's giving me like the dirtiest look. <laughs> they calm the fuck down. <laughs> yeah, like as long as they give 24 hour notice, or you let them in, like per like you give them permission to go in, they can't. They can't unless it's a life or death situation. So. I will never give them permission, ever. I'll let them know there's something wrong. Well, no, if they give you 24 hours notice, you don't have a choice. Nope, I will lock the door. Do I have a key, Lincoln? I will bolt like, I will, I will get a two by four. I will nail the door shut. <laughs> <laughs> I do not care. The I will <laughs> That's all right. All right. Don't give a shit. Okay. This is my this is my area. Okay. So I no don't one know, coming in. I don't know how. I, I don't know how yeah. frequent that is with condos. I know with um, buildings it happens sometimes where they give you twenty four hour notice, but it's not often. Usually it's for like simple maintenance stuff. So, like, I want to know what the maintenance is. I want to know all, usually all the when, details. When they when they give you notices, they tell you exactly what's going on. Every it's single pretty, detail. It's pretty rare that they'll go, "Hey, we're coming in. It's okay. You don't have to know why." Like it's pretty <laughs> rare. Like they'll never do that. I don't, I don't, I don't trust anyone. <laughs> like they usually go, "This is." This is why we need access to your... They usually go, we need access between this time and this time. This is what's happening. This is who's involved. If the people involved aren't from the building, the landlord will be present with these people at that time. They're pretty, like, thorough with, like, the details of it. Yeah. They don't just go. They, they don't just like walk up. But are you going, hey fucker, and just like storm in? They don't, they, they, they don't do that. Usually, or typically, they don't do that. Unless they're really comfortable with people not knowing the law. Um, in which case, yeah, give them shit. But if they're just if they just want to like like check your vent to see if like the airflow is good, I mean they'll be in and out. Realistically, like, I don't, I don't, like, we've never had any of them. We've never had any visit last more than like 20 minutes. 20 minutes too long. 
<laughs> I could be jerking off. Uh, oh my god, I didn't do that. Oh my god. And hey, this is my time. You're in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> fuck you. Technically, you would you you'd be well within your rights. <laughs> you'd be completely like, like you'd be well within. Your I would rights be. I would be completely naked. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, and you're, and you're blasting board. You're allowed. So gonna... for so for example, like let's say you owned a house and you had no blinds up. And you liked walking around naked, that's legal. And if people yeah, happen, know. if people happen to look in, there's nothing they can do about it legally. I will wear that. So, so it's a, that's a realistic thing to do. <laughs> as long as you're doing it on your property and you're not involving anybody involuntarily with anything physical, and they're choosing to be there. So I mean, I guess that's I guess that's a response, but I would double check because I'm not 100 percent sure if you're allowed to do that. No, like what is that? Because like rent, renting or or paying off a mortgage, that is basically it's your, your that's yeah. your house. Yes. Yeah. No, so you can do whatever saying, you want. What I'm saying is I don't know if it's legal. That if people are in your house, that you can just whip your dick out. That's all I'm saying. I don't know how legal that part is. And, I don't and, hear... and, and I and I so. say no, and they're just like, "We're coming in anyway." I'm stripping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Sure. I uh. Okay. I, I, I'm getting the more aggressive porn. Please, please. Never ask her to live with you again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be there for that. Or warn me. And clean up after yourself. That's all I <laughs> I'll warn you. I'm saying this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> you will be like, he'll like, look at me. Trevor, it's time. I'm like, I'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> Just lock my. I'll just close my door. And be like, please, just don't tell me. I don't want to know. I'm wearing shoes for the rest of the day. Maybe the rest of the week. It's just like, like it, it, there's something wrong. I'll let them know. Why? Why they're doing stuff I don't want them doing? Okay, they're not gonna just do random, arbitrary things. There's usually there's there's usually like a direct purpose. I, I can't think of any direct person for them involving to be in my house. So it could be you can so it could be like a plumbing thing. It could be a ventilation thing. It could be they're testing the fire alarms for the entire building. Those are the three things off the top of my head. Those are pretty common because that for us usually happens once a year. At different times, but usually once a year. How? how why plumbing? They would need to be in my in my house. So unless so let's unless say, it got plugged. Yeah, that's pretty much what I mean. Like like let's say like because like because you're paying maintenance fees, you may as well like fucking use the maintenance. So let's say like something goes wrong, or there's like a leak or something. They'll come in and fix that for you. Yeah, but that's me letting them know. Right. Hey, yeah. yeah. I, I talk about it's just like everything perfectly fine. We're just like, we want to make sure that you you can flush your toilet. Oh no, <laughs> that's so dumb. No, they wouldn't. Oh, my God, what? Why? Why? If you like, the like, hey, instead of the door, I'll flush it for you. It's fine. No. Stuff wait, like, wait. Want to make like, sure that silly. the band is working? Like, I can feel it. Silly. Are okay. Usually, okay, they're not going to check the fan is working. But they'll, so for us, what they'll do every other year is they'll hire a company to come in and clean the vents. That's what they do. By the way, no one's climbing in them. They're just taking a vacuum and sucking all the dirt out. That's all it is. Okay. And that's like maybe 20 minutes of your day. Which apparently you're just going to like wank off at them. So. <laughs> 
Well, they didn't hurry. Like, vacuums do a thing for me. I can't explain it. <laughs> And they hire a company that's different. I'm talking about like landlord, just like I'm gonna make sure everything's oh. working. Oh yeah, no, no, no. They, they they can't just randomly go in. Like they and they 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 won't. They just don't. That that, that would happen to me. Okay, well that's just a fucking bad. That's just like that. That's probably the worst case scenario. And it came up the complete worst case scenario, but just a bad landlord. And that's usually in that situation. It's usually because the, either the other people in the building are really comfortable with that landlord, so they're just what they're used to, or everyone else in that building has no clue what the law is, and they think it's perfectly fine and completely normal. Otherwise, they they, they require permission or twenty four hour notice. Yeah, they they definitely have like a front desk too. Okay, I don't know if that's it, it, anything. But, right. but you think like don't that type of shit happen when you have like a front desk who no. just like not always, no. God, I wanna know like is there, is there a way to tell a condo how you're looking into a condo if they have a front desk or not? I imagine you look into the front door. Again, every condo doesn't have a front desk. It doesn't look like an apartment building, but it's considered a condo so, for some reason. So was it built as a condo, or was it a building that was... Oh my god, what's the word? That was basically, like, rebuilt into a condo. Uh -huh. I say that because there's a lot of old buildings where I am, but some of them are being, like, renovated. That's the word. They're being renovated to be relabeled as condos. It seems like a, it seems just like a fancier apartment building to me. It's essentially just polishing a turd. It's really. <laughs> like at one point, I, I at one point, I kind of wanted, like, if I ever, I'll be lucky to get a fucking bridge at this point. Um, but, but like, I, I was kind of debated. Like, I, I wasn't really debate. But at one point, I was like, condo, definitely condo. Like, it's it's a very limited amount of space. Like, it'll just be me, and I don't need to worry about anything. Um, but now I'm like, hey, maybe house wouldn't be so bad because it's space. Um, and like, yeah. So I probably at this point, I probably wouldn't get a house. But houses are like super fucking expensive now. Thank you, rich people, fuckers. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Buying up all the properties. Yeah. Man, isn't it weird how, like, old we are? We're talking about fucking property law. Ugh. Is that an old thing to do? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like, it was the last time you heard a teenager talk about property law. Wow, that's a... You got a really manly face for a 10-year-old. <laughs> it really does. Holy shit. His face never changed. Holy shit. Holy crap, right. Just, hey man, Cloud has seen some shit, okay? He's, seen, <laughs> he's, a, he's a veteran at age 10. <laughs> he's seen some shit, okay? He has, he has seen thing. He, he has looked into the abyss. The abyss looked back, okay? That's... <laughs> now I can't unsee it. It's great. He, he's just like... He's like three feet tall. Like, like just like... Like, no bass to his voice at all, but he looks like a coal miner. <laughs> on the ground for many oh. years due to you. <laughs> <laughs> he, 
You've seen some shit, that's all. It's okay. Just you stop looking like this. <laughs> it's okay, as he gets older, he Benjamin buttons. He gets he gets younger as time goes on. <laughs> never noticed that before. You never noticed that? I never noticed it. <laughs> His very small, <laughs> manly face. <laughs> I've never, ever noticed it before. That is. Why did Why did Tifa look normal? I'm going to. I'm. I'm going to guess. It's probably. They probably took the face. Of the character and put them on younger bodies. So I'm going to assume because Tifa's face doesn't change much between the original version and the mod I'm using, and because Clouds changes a lot, that's probably what's happening. There's a lot of detail in their faces. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just always squinting too. Oh, he's, now he just looks like Popeye. His skin is always chapped for some reason. <laughs> like he's <laughs> like he's been at sea for ten years, even though he's like eight. <laughs> and um, he inherited from his mom. <laughs> Beyond <laughs> her youthful appearance. <laughs> Oh my god. This is brutal, dude. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, you're back to Nora. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Uh, what time is it? Six. I've officially been awake for 24 hours. Why? Oh, uh, yeah. I can't sleep. Uh. Finger bang bang you. Okay, it's my okay, life. Okay, whoa, calm down, calm down, calm down. <laughs> God, that's the one thing I want. I want a loft. I think only thing I will ever buy. So like a one floor thing, which is a really big landing. What? That's all that is. It's just like it just, it's like an open concept like balcony on the indoors. On the indoors. What a weird way of saying that. Yeah, it's an indoor balcony. That's all the loft is. Indoor balcony. Yeah. I've never heard like that. That's what it is, dude. That's what, exactly what it looks like. You just you just go up some stairs to get to it. No, it's, it's an indoor balcony. What? Unless we're thinking two different things. I think you're thinking two different things. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's fine. It's, it's okay, Link. We can't talk about the brain. I'm talking about just like just one spacious room. Oh. Okay. What the hell are you talking about? So like, I don't know, maybe they're not called lofts. But like, there's like one floor, and then like there's stairs that lead up to like another floor. But it's like an open concept, and it kind of looks down over the floor below it. <laughs> like one of those like, no boats that had the clear 
floor so you can see the the steep floor? No. It's it's pretty much just a giant. It's pretty much an indoor balcony. It's, it's, I don't know how else to explain it. I ne I never seen this. Really? I can't even like pitch. I can never. I can't even picture it in my head. Talking about a lot of, like a bachelor pad, but bigger. Oh, okay. I know you're talking about. Yeah, that's a lot. Of... I don't think there is there is any in trial that's not like a million dollar for some reason. God, I hate rooms. I just want one big joint. I just want to turn my head. I see everything. Oh, well, I'm going to say, I don't know what being high is doing in this place. But kind of... It was a joke. <laughs> What's funny? Try better. Try harder. No. Faster, stronger. I would never understand why. As like, well, as like, how much is a condo? What, what the average price for condos? I could not tell you because I am not one to be looking. I'm gonna imagine it's between like. Probably a quarter million to a million and more. Uh, and a quarter million is very cheap, I imagine. The lowest I see is like half a mil. Okay, man. Just sign up for like a 50 year mortgage. <laughs> You'll <laughs> die before you pay it off. <laughs> That's the one thing I love team at like trucker rally, the trucker rally and all the other shit. They're, they're only complaining about paying out their mortgage. Like, buddy, you have like 29 years left. You're going to be at it for a while. <laughs> what was it like being amongst all of that? A headache. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it made me angry. <laughs> can't, can't imagine why. I probably got COVID because of it. Oh, okay. My, my, favorite, my favorite one was fuck the mask after wearing a mask in the, in the TCC. Hey, you know what they say. Don't be a bitch unless, you know, you have to be. Yeah, so apparently... The city of Ottawa, like, residents of the city of Ottawa, are suing the organizers. Oh, really? Nice. For several million dollars. Ooh, nice. Because of the constant, like, horns blowing. Like, 24 hours a day. Yeah, that's illegal. Well, I mean, is, it, is it like, is it like past like ten? Yeah, for the most part, I think yeah. There's like a reasonable expectation before like quiet after a certain time. <clears throat> but yeah. So yeah, they're they're, they're suing because they can't like sue the individuals. So they're suing the organizers for several months. Could it could it be just like the span? I can imagine what they're probably going to do is they're going to declare bankruptcy. 
I can't imagine any organizer of that shit show being like committed to the cause. No, I know they're not. The 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 is just like what, one truck rally, <laughs> one truck rally. I don't know what I, you're talking I, about. I didn't organize this. He organized this. Yeah, this guy's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I think it's funny that, like, once they realized they couldn't change the whole mandate thing, because the U.S. was doing the exact same thing, it changed to something completely unrealistic. Um, anarchy? Yeah, they're just like, hey, the governor general, the prime minister, and a bunch of other people should, unless we like them, should just, just quit. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> all, no. all of them. No, and and we don't like man. We don't like the government telling people what to do. But the government should tell <laughs> companies to hire back the people they fired. <laughs> the government can tell them what to do, but on a on a similar note, pretty please let our job back. Yeah, pretty I know, please. Right? Yeah. Make them do it. Make them do it. <laughs> government. All right. On an unrelated note. <laughs> God. Can I have a job back, please? Yeah, it's like, dude, like, be consistent, okay? That is impossible. It's like, it's like people, people are forgetting. It's like an anti, they say it's anti-mandate, but is it, like, don't, don't be anti-mandate when one of the things you're asking for is a mandate. <laughs> like, just, God, it's so dumb. No, it's different. It's different. It's different. Because <laughs> it works to their benefit. That's why. Yeah, that, that's why it's different. Just. Yeah, it's really weird. By, I mean, weird, I mean, by weird, I mean stupid. So. Very dumb. Yeah, I went to the gym for 24 hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in an hour. I'm like, oh, man, I don't feel like going anymore. Yeah, I'll probably go later at night as well. I had to start doing if I in the did. afternoon. I mean, I don't. If I did. <laughs> I did, I did. I would do it two in the morning. I would. I'd do it when I was... When, either, like, around midnight or, like, way early in the morning before anyone else is, like, going. Cause I feel like being around other people, I'd get annoyed. Uh, like, like I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't mind people giving me tips on how to do things, but I would hate for them to just be like fucking obnoxious about it. <laughs> like I would rather uh, someone ask. Yeah. Me, cause like, cause like I would rather someone ask as opposed to just like walking up and telling me I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I thought you. I thought you were talking. I thought you, I thought you were talking about grunters. Oh, I, I would wear headphones the entire time. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hear. <laughs> oh yeah. Because to be to be realistic, more. I feel like to be realistic. I feel like if you're like you know, if you're like, if you're putting, if you're straining your body for the sake of building muscle, I think you're gonna make involuntary sounds anyway, whether you're grunting, farting, or whatever the fuck else you're doing. <laughs> Farting is uh, pretty common, uh, apparently. Uh, one more! One more! Yeah. <laughs> and you get hit. And then also you get hit by a syringe. <laughs> oh, God. Can't, look, can't all be you, okay? <laughs> I'm not taking it again. Okay, so remind me, why, why are you doing this again? <laughs> so, so I can be ripped, yo! Alright. Interesting, but okay. I want, I want a deeper voice, can pull it on the back, and a big old ball spot! 
So you do want to be me, okay. <laughs> oh, that'd be terrifying. Yeah, I don't want to get become white. I don't I don't think that's a steroid thing. I wanna be able to like do my rep and do um I'm like do, when Trump I do my rest <laughs> No, when I do my rent I, I pop a I, I pop a pill. Just like alright, not a rep <laughs> Pretty sure you're not allowed to do them at the actual place. You know. In fact I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's probably frowned upon. Um <laughs> Who are you talking to? Okay. One of, one of my buddies who go to do a gym all the time. Told me like in the in the bathroom. There's like this jacked up dude who like offer people fucking steroids, like a syringe. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like he he was quite proud of it. Like, like some like crack dealer. Like, hey, buddy, you want to hit? God. Ask someone to spot me, but they're not really spotting me. They're just I'm so strong. Just after I done my red, they just hit me in the ass and the. <laughs> <laughs> they just like spank you as you walk by. Yeah, what a syringe. That's a man with a syringe. <laughs> they don't even bother taking it out after, just 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 in you and you don't even notice it. Yeah. Like a syringe, oh my god. That sounds really like fucking horrible, to be honest. How you how you support your fellow brother? I mean, I guess that's one way. Or you can get like protein and like you know, eat a lot of chicken like the like the rest of them. Nah. Everyone, everyone knows drugs is the only answer. Okay, I guess yeah. May may want to become Jewish. I'll start taking it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> you know what? I don't even care what that means. I'm not asking. <laughs> I'm not even interested. <laughs> you think I'm my fucking... <laughs> my, um... What do, you, what do you call it? I, don't, I have no idea. Circusism. Oh, okay. Yeah, become a Jewish. Christians do that too, by the way. Nah, no one's Jewish. Okay. When I get that, once I get that card, all of a sudden I feel the need to go to Jerusalem. Not how it works, but okay. <laughs> what? I'm one. Of, I'm. I'm one of you guys. <laughs> what? Could you like pull your pants down, point to like. Me? Well, I'm one of you. Point your lack of fortune like a fucking lunatic. <laughs> Mazel Tov! It's like you have it in your hand and you like show it to everyone. I put it in a jar. Oh no, man, no, I wonder no, no, I... no, no, no. You you lace it in like a piece of like string and just wear it around your neck. No, you you, it, you, you put it like you you put it on your ring finger. Like, like a ring? Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so terrible. That's gross. That's really gross. It's gross. It's a part of you. Oh, it's like that way, it's like it never left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That way, that way, I, I would love to keep the Afterbirth. I'm sorry, what? 
I would love to keep the afterburn. The, the placenta, that's what it's called. Yeah, I would love to keep. I would I would love a child? Like what the fuck? <laughs> Dad, medical waste, am I right? It's all about the Oh my god. Hey, you know what? People people keep the placentas all the time. I know. Oh, I would love to keep it. Some lunatics eat it. Ah, that's gross. Yeah. I will keep it in a jar. Yeah. There's some people like make jewelry out of them too. I want to but, make uh, a bear. I want to make a bear. A uh, stuffed bear. But uh, there's some people who will like actually blend it into a smoothie and drink it. <laughs> what would that taste like? Blood, I imagine. Blood and flesh. Mm. Just, what does that taste like? It's a, it's a, I imagine blood and flesh. I don't know. I don't know what that is. In, in like, I know blood tastes like kind of like coppery. I don't. I don't know what human flesh tastes like for good fucking reason. I'm wondering if there's like uh, a smoothie joint. I had placenta. You can, that you can order. Can I get the fuck down? I gotta, I gotta look what that up. What the? Fuck, placenta movie. What? This game is just annoying me. Placenta oh movie. Oh. I'm sorry. There's a movie called The Singing? It is about a placenta? Okay, what direction moves me forward in this fucking thing? There we go. There's a movie about a placenta that that eats people, I think. Okay. It's called the singing. Get it? It's like the thing. Wait, sec. wasn't I just here? Confession of the teenage placenta. Okay. Hey now, Ted! Good baby! I don't watch this now. Okay. <laughs> what said the smoothie recipe? Oh my! How to make a possessive smoothie? Just gross. Oh! What is the green is? Placenta in smoothie. Duh. Before you decide to consume your placenta, is it important to make sure it is it healthy? After your midwife, it have white spots. Oh, oh, now, it's, oh now it's gross. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm afraid to ask. What? what, what you... <laughs> they're they're cutting it open and they're pouring out the content oh. and they're breathing it. <laughs> That's that is indeed very gross. Oh, 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 oh my! <laughs> Obviously, you can't show that on stream. So, why? Oh, that was like, that was like. Two girl, one cop moment right there. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that's a good looking fruit smoothie. Ah, oh, you got some, um, got some smoothie blend. You got your strawberry and uh, blueberry. Got some and milk. Now flesh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is that string? 
probably the umbilical cord. Ah, oh, look at it! That's my guess. So fucking gross. It's like the time when I decided to watch Bestiality and I went into it, and Why? I found out it was not. <laughs> Why? How? <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I don't want to ask this, but what made you think you were? <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious. You look like up one day and like, man, I wonder. Yeah, that, that, I would, yeah, pretty much that. I wonder, and I was, um, a chick drinking off a horse, and the horse finished. I was like, that was the most disgusting thing I ever <laughs> seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Probably good response. Okay. I was like, ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Not sure why I needed that information, but you know. Oh man, people are insane. Correct. I ate my placenta raw. This is what this is what was like. I think it's only anything. I'm sad. Me too. It's fucking gross, dude. I wonder if they're also like just movies. I could probably. I wouldn't doubt it. There are people who believe that, like, it's, like, good for your skin, so... Yeah, of course, good for your hair! Yeah, I think there was a dude who would, um... Inject it in, into his, like, skin. Like, <laughs> with, with a, a syringe, yeah. I think, I think I heard about that. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. Which, by the way, don't do that. It's a terrible idea. Why would someone that? Why? I don't know. What do people do? A lot of things to do. There was another dude I think who would like inject urine into his skin. Nice. And I think either either that or um, he was like injecting like um herbal tea or something. You <laughs> <laughs> were pissed or herbal tea? Huge, what a huge difference. <laughs> huge difference. Um. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let me look that up really quick. Man who injected. Uh, you know what I'm looking for? Muscles of oil. Nope. Injected. Um. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. I found it. I found other stuff that's really weird. But, okay, we found it. This was, t okay, this was 2019. Yeah, hang on, me. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opening this on stream, so. And, coward. <laughs> yep. Fucking right. Um, <laughs> you are correct, Amundo. But uh, but yeah, it's that. Oh, I wonder why it's red.
I did a heartbeat. Oh, that's the game. That's the game. I was I was uh, briefly reading about how a man injected a woman with his semen. Um, very interesting headline. And, yeah, alarming headline, actually. Being it anyway, that that, that dude like, cause he, yeah, he, you you see the article. He thought it would cure his back pain, so he started injecting the semen into his body. It's really weird. People are fucking psychotic. Yeah, people don't take the vaccine. Right? <laughs> like, you get people who like believe in like carrying like like rocks in your pocket will make you a happier person. But a fucking <laughs> vaccine is where you draw the line. Yeah, it it, it improves your your hip game. Happier person. Yeah. Whew. I wonder, like, I wonder, do you think, do you think it was their parents' fault, or like, do you think their parents actually tried? <laughs> they went to the wrong school. Okay. Or they didn't go to school at all. Who knows? Something happened though in school, and then. They, they found people who had the same view. No, I don't know what happened. The internet happened. Yeah, they, they got it. With the power of the internet, and anything can be correct if you find the right article. Yeah, I guess it's true. Fucking. Okay. Look at people on the moon. Get an article. Hey man, it's either the internet or a lot of alcohol. So. Or drugs. I remember. That's how a lot of people found Jesus. I remember. Oh, oh, no! I'll never forget that there was like a this super Christian who like thought drugs were the devil, and then she smoked it for the first time, and she found God. Usually how that works, yeah, I guess. My favorite thing was uh, when that lady who believed lizard people lived in the moon. Yeah. And thought they they controlled us telepathically. And I was like, man, I you know what? It's I am not. I haven't done enough for this. Okay. I haven't done enough. No. Like Trevor, like, like the moon. The moon is hollow. There's lizard people living on the moon, and like, like they use the media to control us. Like, okay, okay. Don't think that's lizard like, people, but okay. Is, is it all media? What what media you can trust? Well, that's kind of the idea too, right? It's like, yeah. <sighs> Like everyone gets their information from somewhere. And like you can't trust certain groups from information. I'm not going down there right now. Stupid fucking out. I like to imagine that Jake who found God was doing drugs. Maybe that was the maybe that was Satan. <laughs> Laptop. Oh. Also, I got I got Windows 11 now. I'm sorry, what? I got Windows 11 now. Ooh. I know. I've had, it, I've, I've had it for quite a while. They, <laughs> there's no more corners anymore. It's really weird. Yeah, I know. I know. I missed my corners. Ugh. They're a distant memory for me. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming because, uh, boy, am I tired. What's it now? I was thinking about it. Oh my god, the, the fucking delay on this is going to be brutal. Uh, ah. Okay, I did it by accident, which is good enough for me. Day is underway. Hooray, computer. What is it a mod to make everyone a brony? Um, I don't think so. A lot of the mods. Seem to just be graphical upgrades. Boo. And like difficulty mods. Uh. That's really it. That's boring. Kind of, yeah. I want, I want everyone to be a brony. I want the game to be a Mike and Will Romance album. I want the game to look like a 90 commercial. Clue. What's your name? Clue. Clow. My name Bow. is Clow. My name is Clow. You're not seeing it right, it's clout. Oh my god, you wear bucket hats? Sorry? You wear bucket hats? What are you talking about? You know, bucket hats. Okay, but I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying bucket hat. I don't know what the fuck you're talking yeah, you, about. I, I said, you remember bucket hats? No. You liar. Probably for good reason. I really don't. Don't remember... You see, you see, Bucket has. I probably have, but I, I have no clue what, what they look like. Again, probably for good reason. Uh, uh the K E T. <sighs> Look at that. Why you make me click on Amazon? I'm not, no, I'm not clicking. <laughs> We're on Amazon. Cause like I'm using, like I'm on my phone. It's gonna bring me to like something else. Hi, Jesus Christ. Uh. Like, well, I don't want to go to my Amazon. I'm going to Amazon. There. Oh, that's a bucket hat. Yeah, bucket hat. Want to look like a... <laughs> you want to look like a deuce bag? Bucket hat.
No. Bucket hats with those like jeans that with go to like <laughs> I like I like chains on them. That that's for the wallet, by the way. No, no, no. I mean like the pants that are just like covered in chains. The pants head that are covered in chains. Yeah. Pants are covered in chains. Uh, I forget what they're called. Man, my Google algorithms look so weird. Um. Some pants with chains. Um, no, these are. Mm. No, these are far. Not, mm. Is it this? Yeah, these fucking things. Trip electro pants. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like, <laughs> like, like, hang on. Again, not putting this on stream. Uh, cause, look, like, like, shit like that. So like a uh, an anime character? Yeah, 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 except it was really popular in the like the nineties. It was. Yeah, dude. It's I got I got want to buy it. Do that in like a bucket hat. And wear About... like a a mesh t-shirt too. <laughs> wear a mesh t-shirt. Is that not like the 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 the, the fish line shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. You do realize you're going like. You're picking every. You're picking different type of style and just mashing them into one. <laughs> You'd be surprised that I'm not. <laughs> You'd be very you, surprised by the fact that I'm not. You got you got you got street, goth, and like emo, <laughs> rap, rap into one. <laughs> I'm talking about the jeans that like that that go jet below the knee. Oh. Oh, like capris, but not capris. I don't know what they're called. I don't know their name. I saw they look stupid. <laughs> Fun fact: they are. It's, it's like the, like the ultimate streeter look. Like it had, you like the jet. Go below the knee and like a graphic tee of like some punk band or like skater shit. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. I remember those days. I don't know. Early went outside. <laughs> really weird. It made me wonder, what would the style for, like, for the 2010s? Oh, I don't know. God, I wish I knew. Like, I'm a, we're adults in the you 2010s. Should, you should bring it back. What? There's something oh, I gotta like... Just talk to like someone ten or twenty years old. <laughs> someone, someone's forty. Me. Wait, oh wait, that ten years older than me. Oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> someone's in fifty. <laughs> Let me look. Uh, I'll. Of the 
Uh, oh, hip <laughs> oh, wow, I forgot about that. Hip first fashion. I. So, like. Like, twirled up mustache, long beards. Oh my God. Um, vaping. Ugh. It's like a waking uh, nightmare. I don't know what they. I don't know what they wore though. Khakis. <laughs> Khakis. Ew. <laughs> Dad's. <sighs> Dad sneakers. <sighs> the hell are. Okay. the game just freeze? It is black. I think the game froze. Wait, boyfriend shirts? That was a style? Alright. Uh, well, uh, since the game froze, uh, I guess the stream's over. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna, you know, go sleep or something. Yeah, you sleep tight. No, I don't want to. Alright, sleep like shit. I will. Prefer it that way. <laughs>